Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is the last of the EDZ Legendary Law Sectors. This is Scavenger's Den. Uh, a bit late in getting this one up, but I was pretty busy playing Trials last night, so it was a late one, as you'd expect. Uh, so, anyway, this is the last of the three Legendary Law Sectors. Scavenger's Den, we have uh, Overlord Champions and Barrier Champions. A little bit tricky, this one, but we got it. This is also a flawless, so this will show you exactly how to do this without dying if you haven't got the achievement yet, or the triumph. So, I'm using Ostringer. We're doing this on the Hunter. I've done the last two on the Warlock. I'm doing this one on the Hunter. And I'm using the Ostringer uh, with a minor spec on, uh, Ariana's Vow, and I'm using a Sword. Surprise, surprise. But I've got uh, Overload Rounds on the Sword. Now... I haven't really gave swords a lot of purchase, really a, a lot of a lot of work. I haven't really used them that much. You're going to see in here how good swords can be. Uh, I've got sword scavenger, passive guard. Passive guard is you take more less damage from enemies when you're holding a sword. So it really did help. You can see there what I what I'm actually using. It really did help doing this, and that. The Overlord Champions, it's so, so strange how they went from being one of the trickiest enemies in the game to being one of the easiest. So, similar fare to the other ones, we're going to clear out enemies. There's In every room, there is uh, a champion. So, in this room, there is an Unstoppable. Uh, not an Unstoppable. Uh, overlord. There is an o Overlord Champion. So, what I'm going to do is just kind of clear out this side. And then I'm going to move up here. As you can see, there's an Invisible we're going to take him out with Ariana's. I also have, as you'd have seen at the start, I've got heavy ammo, uh, heavy ammo and special ammo finder, and I've got special ammo scavenger because I've got sword scavenger on as well. So I didn't need to have heavy ammo scavenger on. So I'm just going to make my way down here. I want to clear all the enemies in this room before I head up to the, the exit because the exit is where the overload champion is. Now, to proc overload on the sword... You need to hit a couple of quick hits. It's not too difficult to do because the sword will lock on. I decided to do this on the Hunter because I'd started my Hunter. I feel a bit ashamed about saying it, but it was my Hunter I wanted to take any trials. I am going to do my Titan next. And I might do a video on... I might do something on how to level up. Because I hear, I'm hearing a lot of people saying they're struggling to level up and... I might do something about an efficient way to level up, even if you don't have a lot of time to play the game. So, yeah, the reason I'm doing it on the the, tight, the Hunter is because I, literally, the Hunter was the next character to do. And it seemed to fall in really well with the sword because I've obviously got Tether. I've got Stompies on, as you'd have seen at the start. I never went with Orpheus Rig because I don't need to get my super back. I'm only going to use my super once. So, I'm going to dodge, go invisible. Now, you see, I went... I went invisible there, and there were still some ads up. And there we go. So I'm just, get my, I've got, I think, 70-odd mobility, so I'm getting my dodge back pretty quickly. Just wait till you get your dodge. If, you, if you're doing it on a different character, then the way to do it, you can see here my, invis my invisibility ran out, and he really does move around a lot. So I'm following him. Just trying to stay out of his shotgun range. He does really teleport a lot. So if you're not using invisibility, as you can see my invisibility's ran out again. I've got the hits on him. And then just right shoulder. Not not heavy attack. Right shoulder is where it's at with, with swords now. And it absolutely melted him. Now, I'm glad the invisibility ran out because you can see you can actually do this without invisibility. You just have to kind of, you can put overload rounds on the hand cannon. I've got a minor spec to make it easier to take the ads out. You can put overload on the hand cannon and stun him and then go after him with the sword. That That is a definite, definite uh, strategy. So anyway, when you enter this next room, it's the similar thing, except you've got a barrier champion. Now, this barrier champion's annoying. And you'll see what I mean when we get to the barrier champion. I'm just I'm just mo moving around, just making sure I'm not jumping into any ads. You know, watch your radar all times. 
This is why the Barrier Champion is annoying. Because the Barrier Champion, he uh, shields the shotgun ads. They will stand there shooting at you. And you can't shoot back because the Barrier Champion's protecting them. So what you have to do, and you'll see here, I'm going to maneuver into position to get a good line of sight where you can see the barrier and just start shooting at the barrier. You might have to aim past these ads. I'm going to just try and get a decent view on this, this champion. The idea is, there you go, the idea is we need to get the champion to go into his barrier state. So we can break the barrier. As you can see, the ads just move in front of you. So I'm just going to put a grenade down. And we'll just try and get a... It moved, moved the barrier champ. We just... Literally, it's about trying to find the right place to attack. Just getting a little look at the barrier. Now once you, once you do, you'll see here, once once I break the barrier shield, he now isn't protecting these invisibles. He's not protecting any ads now. So, that's what you've got to do. You've got to take down the barrier, and he's going to put his shield back up. I'm going to break him, and then I'm going to go after him with the sword, because the sword really messes him up. That is how you deal with the barrier The barrier at that point. There is a barrier at the end, at the boss. There's a barrier and an, an unstoppable, uh, an overload. Now, I'm keeping my super here for the boss. What's going to happen is when we get to the boss, again, clear out enemies, clear out ads. Uh, I go after the, the, the overload pretty quickly because the overload's just annoying. So you can see the overload's there. I'm going to dodge, I'm going to go invisible, I know there's ads there, but I'm relying on the, I'm relying on the ads actually pushing me and getting involved in some sword action, so I can do a little bit of both, but as you can see, as soon as I take out the overload, I'm moving, I'm back, in, back into my cover, and I'm moving, so now what we're going to do is just clear up ads from here, you've got, got a few of those shanks about, just clear up ads from here, we know there's a barrier up top. There he is. We know we know that we can take down the barrier with a combination of Ariana's and the sword. So we'll just take out a few more of these ads. We don't want any kind of stragglers, any, any pot shortness when we're trying to get involved in a bit of damage. As you can see, I got pushed there, moved out the way. That's why you do not push while there's still straggling ads around. Because before you know it, you go from being safe to being overwhelmed. So I'm, I'm literally just making my way around the left hand edge. Just trying to get a decent view at the boss. I want to see who's still about. I know there's a barrier. There's the barrier there. I'm not too bothered about actually killing the barrier. As you can see what I was trying to do. Was disconnect any ads from him. The boss is relentless. He's as bad as the, the, the Overlord Champions with that uh, shotgun. Which is kind of where the where the the Lord of Wolves came from. It's a variation of the Fallen Captain shotgun, I believe. And it has the same range. <laughs> or did have the same range. So we're just going to do a little bit of work against the champion. Like I'm saying, I'm not too bothered. The champion is going to go away this barrier. And while he goes away, we got the last ad that we think. He's he's defending himself behind that box. So now what I'm going to try is just peek out, tether the boss. The, and this is why I used the the, the Night Terror, Eris' sword, because it's, it's, it's arc. So... I knew it would be good for the shield. So that is the boss down. Last champion. We just, again, disconnect this ad from the champion. Well, 
We'll just get my sword out. And same thing again. Right shoulder. And that's the run. Just be careful. Clear out ads. Attack the champions from where I, where I attacked them from. Don't push too. Don't you can't be too aggressive with these with these overload champions. Thank you very much, guys. I hope this helps you guys beat this. If you like the run, a like would be would be awesome. Take it easy, guys, and I will see you in the next video.